Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shots. Last couple of days, like most of you, even I'm working from home. While working from home has its own advantages, but prolonged social isolation can create a negative impact on our well-being and state of mind. You know, end of the day, we are social animals and we get energy from each other. If at all, if you feel low, you know, lack of energy or mood swing, you know, please try following hacks to boost your mood when you're at home. Number one, sunshine. Now, we are indoor most of the time and if you're not exposed to sunlight throughout the day, you may feel lethargic and lousy. Sunlight exposure, it helps improve our mood and focus by boosting the serotonin level in our body, also known as the happiness hormone. The sun works through a number of receptors in the brain and it affects our mental status and alertness. Serotonin is actually associated with boosting mood and it helps us feel calm and focused. Without enough sun exposure, your serotonin levels can dip and low levels are associated with high risk of depression. In, in the West, there is a syndrome called SAD, you know, Seasonal Affective Disorder, a condition where people get clinically depressed in the winter because there is less sunlight. Sunlight also helps strengthening the immune system. Now, since regular exposure is one of the most robust way to activate vitamin D levels in your body. So step out, soak yourself sometime in the sun every day. You know, not all the time. Best time is maybe between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. or in the evening after 4 p.m. And at home while working, you know, keep the curtains open and allow sunlight. If possible, for some time, you can even work outdoor like this. Number two, movement. When you go to office and on a normal day, you know, we, we walk a lot, we move a lot, right? From parking lot to desk, movement to meet people, uh, breaks. But now you're forced to stare at your screen all day long. So moving our body changes our you know, brain chemical, um, brain chemistry, a lot of chemical reactions and it leads to happiness. The physical activity is one of the best way to release dopamine, a feel good hormone. You know, emotion is created by motion, emotion. The sad part is now even people who you know regularly go to gym and yoga classes and places like that, even they are stuck at home. Plus, when you are at home, we tend to eat more uh, than at workplace. So we have to find a way to burn those calories. So find a way to move. You know, start a new hobby like gardening or play with your kids. You know, do something physical, right? And you have a lot of time right now. So if you really want to be cheerful and boost your mood, move your body as much as possible. So move towards happiness. Number three, media. You know, some of my friends are watching the news like, you know, some kind of live cricket score. You know, they're like Pakistan crossed 300, you know, India is at 170, you know, Italy is at 35,000. You know, come on, these are real people suffering. You know, not just numbers. You know, I understand that, you know, you're curious and, but don't consume negative media 24 by 7 and feel depressed and panic. It's pretty simple. You know, this is stimulus. It activates our senses and trigger a thought and thought will become your emotion and feeling feeling and you know at the end of the day that's your state of mind or your mood so the best thing to do to alter your mood is to work on the root cause which is which is a stimulus in this case the negative news right so I'm not telling not to watch news and get updates you know maybe like once or twice a day not all the time so limit your media consumption time because you know this only increases unnecessary fear, worry, panic, and it spoils your mood. And last two weeks, you know, a lot of WhatsApp groups are flooded with memes and jokes about you know virus. You know, hats off to all those guys who are creating all this amazing stuff. You know, laughter is the best medicine. And some people are like, you know, this serious stuff, you know, why are they making fun? But you know, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody, I think it is fine. And there was this guy called uh, Dr. Norman Cousins, you know, he cured himself of a chronic illness by laughing out loud and watching funny movies. He wrote a book called Anatomy of an Illness. He explains how he healed himself from a life-threatening illness using humor. So cut down your scary media content consumption and focus on humorous content you know, which will lighten you up. So to wrap up, get a lot of sunlight, move your body and reduce your negative media consumption. And remember this.
too shall pass. I think it's just, it's just a matter of time. So thank you so much for watching. Stay strong, stay safe.